big mistake that we, that we make is we charge just for the time that we're on the job. Right. Okay. Just, just the time we're on the job, but there's other time involved. Okay. And that's where we're losing money. So if you're, you're coming up short, you know, seems like you got more, uh, you know, there's more months at the end of the money. Right. All right. <laughs> kind, kind of a thing. That's because you're not charging for all your time. What you can do. All right. What simple thing you can do right now to make more money with your plumbing business today. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. So we already so, had two episodes. Already had two episodes. Yes, if you missed they were it, great. Why? Okay. Go back and check it out. Okay. You don't want to miss it. These are simple things you can do right now. Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 360th episode of Potty Talk. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing, how to systemize, stylize, and monetize your plumbing business. Hey, and we're coming at you with our third part of our five-part series, Mm -hmm. all right, of what you can do, all right, what simple thing you can do right now to make more money with your plumbing business Today, okay, all right. Mm-hmm. So we already so, had two episodes. Already had two episodes. Yes, if you missed they were it, great. Why? Okay, go back and check it out. Okay, you don't want to miss it. These are simple things you can do mm-hmm. right now so that you can make more money with your plumbing business today. And we have another very simple thing that you can do that will definitely put uh, dollars in your bank. Okay, lots of dollars lots in your of bank. Dollars. Okay. And so, Which everybody wants. Yes. Who doesn't right? want that if you own a plumbing business? All right. Mm-hmm. And it's not, and, the profit and these things are it. simple. There's just things we just don't really think about or just, or, or just aren't doing. Okay. So these are literally things you can do right now mm-hmm. so that you can make more money with your plumbing business today. Okay. okay? So it doesn't take special skills mm-hmm. or you got to wait. Or it's going to take yeah. a lot of money or, or it's going to take months or, or right, to figure something out or mm-hmm. something like that. Right now, okay? okay? And we'll get to that. Okay. Hey, before we get to that, let me get to our sponsor, okay? okay. Our sponsor in, uh, for today's uh, episode of Potty Talk, all right? Ooh. Hey, recruiting and hiring top team members is vital to your plumbing business of success, right? All right? Mm-hmm. Work with your hands, our residential service recruiting experts, delivering qualified plumbers, office staff, and management, mm-hmm. helping you grow your business. Work with your hands offers personalized service with guarantees on new hires, fast onboarding, candidate vetting, weekly check-ins, and so much more. All right. And so if you're turning down your marketing efforts because you don't have the plumbers to run the calls, bad, okay, then reach out to work with your hands today. And be sure to ask about the special discount pricing for all Potty Talk listeners. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash hands. That's hands with a Z the million dollar plumber.com forward slash H A N D Z. They're fancy with the Z on the end. That's right. <laughs> and they are awesome. Work with your hands is awesome. Um, they, they do, they can help you find Hi. plumbers. They can help you find office staff. They can help you find um, general managers. If you're to that point yet, they are a great resource for plumbing businesses, especially in, in these, this day and age when it's, it's tough to find guys, right? Yes. We hear it all the time. It's so hard to find guys. These guys, they know, they know how they got the secret sauce, right? They go out, they go out and they go after it. Yep. They're right. headhunters. In fact, uh, the owners, I think, uh, I've been involved in plumbing businesses and mm-hmm. large plumbing businesses. And I think one of the, I think one of them, the, the husband is a female owner. Um, the female owner oh, right, runs a rather hands. large, uh, plumbing right. company the on the East does. Coast. Right. Correct. And so mm-hmm. they know, they know what it takes and they know what, what you got to do. Right. Mm-hmm. And so they, they'll know what you need. So check them out. Okay. All right. So part three. Part three, what's a simple thing that you can do right now, right this moment to make more money with your plumbing business today? Tell us. All right. And it's this. Please charge a diagnostic fee. Charge a diagnostic fee. Okay. No, I give free estimates. I, I have it all over my truck. Uh, you're a dead man driving. <laughs> I okay. give free estimates. Call me free estimates. Or, well, I saw a name of a plumbing company once and it was called... Um, not second chance. What was it? Second opinion plumbing. Second opinion. Right. Okay, right. So it was really, as the name was second opinion plumbing. Right. So For call free. us. Right. right. To, to make sure that the, the first company, right. Yeah. And then go with the first company, right. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But just driving around free and I get it, you know, and they would say, well, I have to. They're asking, no, you don't. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. In fact, it leads to, you know, reason the, the first point of why you want to charge a diagnostic fee is that that it, um, it proclaims that you, you have value. Okay. When you say I'm, I'm coming out for free, 
already they're thinking that you ain't worth anything. Right. All right. And you're going to be cheap. Right. Mm-hmm. If, if you, if you don't think you're worth anything, right. the customer is not going to think you're worth anything. Mm-hmm. Well, no, the market would just, well, you just have free estimates. No, they don't. No, they don't. You can't go anywhere and get a free estimate. You cannot. I've where, not where found a place. <laughs> right. You can't do anything. Go mm-hmm. take the car, even take a car to the, you know, the, the mechanic. Mm-hmm. All right. They're going to charge you. They're going to charge you. Right. You get charged for going to the doctor's office. Okay. You may not see it because you think well, your insurance is paying it or whatever. But or somebody's whatever. paying. You're, you're, right. They're charging. You're charging. Everyone charges. Mm-hmm. All right. Because it, it, it comes down to time, okay? But this, if you want to make more money with your plumbing business right now, okay, mm-hmm. charge a diagnostic fee. And I don't think okay? you necessarily mean that you're going to make money you on the diagnostic fee, right? No, but it already sets you up by, by charging a diagnostic fee again. Well, it says that you're professional, okay? Mm-hmm. And, it, and it says that, um, you know, that you have value, all right? So that kind of customer is, is attracted to you. Right. So okay. you're going to weed out the customers that you're not going to make money with, and you're going to attract the customers that you will right. make money with. Which leads with. to point number two oh, okay. of why you want to charge a diagnostic fee okay. is that it qualifies the customer. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it qualifies the customer and you know, you got a serious customer, mm-hmm. you know, the customers um, will gladly have you drive all over town <laughs> Yeah, and, and, um, you, and use up all your time. Come out and take a look at this. Oh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm having right. some few plumbing companies come out and, and give me some estimates. I've got at least five companies coming out to give me estimates. You don't want to be number five, right? You don't want to be number one. You don't or two, that, three, even right? for, for that customer because mm-hmm. that customer doesn't value you, right? Okay, and and again, you know, I think you said it. You said it earlier here, where you know you don't want to be. That's a race you don't want to win. Right. You know, being a race the to the bottom. Right. Race right. to the bottom. Yeah. You like know. if you have something on your truck that says lowest price in town or free estimates or whatever. Right. That again, that it is a race to the bottom, and that is a race you never want to win. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it qualifies the customer. It's that that the customer that you know is willing to pay. You know, well, thank you, Mrs. Jones. We, we have you scheduled. Um, you know, we do just to remind you, we have a $49 diagnostic fee. However, we waive that if we do any work whatsoever. Correct. All right. So, mm-hmm. I, so I have you scheduled here between two and four. Mm-hmm. Hey, if they balk at that $49, even when you're going to waive, you know, if you do the work, you're, they're not going to pay that $49 mm-hmm. and they're balking at that. You're wasting your time. Right. It's driving not your around. customer. All right. Not your no customer. wonder you're losing money. You're driving around just telling people what to do mm-hmm. and giving you know, free talk, advice. Talk, right, giving free advice, talking mm-hmm. to people. You're spending money on gas. You're wasting all your time. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, I said earlier, and in one of the one of the others that you know on, you know, on the other parts, one, right, mm-hmm. that is costing you at least one hundred fifty dollars an hour to operate at as least. a plumbing, as a professional plumbing business. Mm-hmm. If you even just you're just one truck. It's costing you at least $150 an hour to operate. And that's with no profit. And so even if you're not driving around giving free estimates while you're sitting there, it's costing you $150 an hour. Mm -hmm. Okay. So why you want to drive around? You can't make that up. All right. So you want to be going to customers who are serious about you doing the work. They really want to get the work done. Right. Okay. And they're not put off by the fact that you charge a diagnostic fee or they expect it. Right. right? They expect that, well, of course you're going to charge something to come out. Exactly. That's the customer you know, that you and, want. And whether it's 49 or 79, 99, doesn't matter. it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It's, and, and we played around with it right. too, right? We ended up at, we landed at 49, but a lot of our clients, they've go um, all the way up to 99 because they, they believe it really qualifies the customer at that point. So um, I don't know if I'd recommend if you've never charged a diagnostic fee to, to jump right to 99, start at something like a 49 because um, it's more for see, your sake. It's right. more for your sake to get, if you don't believe in it and you're, you're kind of shaking, you know, about it and that, that's going to come across in your voice or yeah, your you CSR's voice. you got to have confidence about it. You know, so, um, you know, just, it doesn't matter even the amount. Now you can go so cheap where the value's not there. It's like, you know, you know, we, we do, we have a $9, you know, <laughs> diagnostic fee. It's like, oh man, you must not be, yeah. you, you know, that, that also sends a low value. Very low okay? value. Mm-hmm. So it's finding that, you know, but you know, like 49, 79, 99, mm-hmm. again, it's more about that, that the client, you know, when they hear that, that they're willing to risk that because they, in their minds, they're, I, I'm, I'm wanting to get this done. Right. And, and so. The other thing too, um, when you're, when the customer calls in, one of their first questions may be, how much do you charge to come out? Right. Don't ever answer that, that from the beginning. This is a, a different teaching I know. And I know we've got other other podcasts that talk about it, right. um, but don't ever give that information out right away because as soon as you say, we have a forty nine dollar diagnostic fee. Then they're like, Meh, and they just hang up. You've you've built no value at all in your service. So you want to start building a relationship from the beginning. The phone call, 
asking the customer, well, before I can, before I can answer that, why don't you tell me exactly what's going on? And then we'll be able to, to answer your question again. Hopefully you listen to the last podcast, the last series or the last um, episode where we talked about you cannot be the person on the phone, the plumbing business owner, right? right? And you need to have a CSR and she needs to confidently help the customer, right? Because customers don't want to be calling you. Right. No one wakes up in the morning, wants to call a plumber. Right. So they're already uneasy. So if you just start spouting out prices and stuff, they're, they, you, you're freaking them out. You're freaking them out. Right. So they're looking, uh, you know, ironically, you know, the psychology is what's happening. The customer doesn't want to call because they don't want to call about plumbing because their day's been disrupted, but they are calling you. So you're already, they're sold. So that's the thing you got to get in your mind. They called you. So they are already sold. Right. It's like taking your car in. Right. But right. they're looking for a reason to say no. Mm -hmm. They're looking because they really don't want to do this. Mm. Right. But so they are looking for a reason to say no. And the money thing, you know, is, is the one area where they can go. As soon as they start, they're not sure how much things are going to cost and they make it about money. Then it's, well, I'm just calling around getting ideas. That's right. what, that's when you hear that. Mm. Okay. Yeah, again, it's like, um, take your car and you don't want your brakes go out or whatever. You do not want to go for one, spend the time. You don't want to spend the money on right. stupid brakes, but you have to get them done. Your car has to have brakes. Same right. with plumbing. Right. You're not calling around to all the brake shops to see how much things cost. Mm -hmm. You know, your, your customers aren't doing the same thing either. Right. It's just a tactic mm -hmm. because we've, it, it's kind of just, it's been able to happen. I'm calling around pricing. It's just a logical thing. Um, an intelligent thing for them to say. Cause they don't know what else to ask. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so, There's but a, yeah, the bottom line is charge a diagnostic fee, mm -hmm. you know, it, you know, proclaims, you know, you, you that you have value, value, you know, and then it qualifies the customer. Mm -hmm. And you're going to say that when you mention it, you're going to mm -hmm. save it to the end. Again, as you said, we give you some insight here. You want to build a little bit of rapport, mm -hmm. let the customer tell their problem, build a little, okay. They realize they're talking to another human being, you know, oh, I'm they sorry. Them confidence. Right. There's no confidence that comes across in the phone. Hopefully that your CSR, um, knows how to handle the call, knows what, um, doesn't need to know plumbing. It doesn't, you know, it's just the confidence is, the, the, right, sure. the confidence <laughs> is I'm, we're, we're going to take care of you today. Exactly. We, we got you covered here and okay. Then we got you scheduled and all right, Mrs. Jones, hey, we got you scheduled. Hey, just a reminder, we do have a $49 diagnostic fee. However, we waive that if we do any work whatsoever. All right. We'll see you between two and four. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Click. Click. All right. Mm -hmm. And it's, you know, it's that simple. Yep. Okay. So qualify the customer. It qualifies the customer. Okay. All right. Hey, another simple thing for you. Mm. It's easy, simple for you to pick up my million dollar plumber blueprint mm -hmm. because it's free. All right. My blueprint, I lay out all the specs you need to build a successful, self-sustaining and very profitable plumbing business. Okay. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You know, you wouldn't plumb a house you know, without a blueprint, okay, without knowing the specs. So why, it just blows my mind, you know, <laughs> why are you trying to build a plumbing business with no blueprint or knowing what you're doing, okay? You're just following through it. A lot of wasted time, wasted money. Same thing if you were trying to plumb a house without a blueprint. Be a lot of wasted time and a lot of wasted money, all right? So don't waste any time or waste any money. Grab my free blueprint. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. To grab your free blueprint. Yes. Today. Okay. And all as right. a reminder, before we dive back in, everybody, we are out on all the social media channels, TikTok, yeah. Instagram, TikTok. Facebook, YouTube, all the things. Right. Um, our handle MySpace. is MySpace. MySpace? <laughs> <laughs> remember MySpace? I do remember. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> Probably most people do not. Right. Somehow Facebook overtook MySpace. Yep. A war of some kind. Anyway, <laughs> we're on all the social media channels. Um, our handle is the million dollar plumber. We have lots of conversations out there, do different posts, different reels, fun place to be. So make sure you go and like and follow. There we go. Do it. All right. Come play with us. <laughs> All right. Hey, we're looking at, you know, what, what, what are simple things that you can do right now to make more money with your plumbing business today? All right. And we're uh, charging a diagnostic and we're chi fee. Charging a diagnostic fee. All right. It proclaims that you have value, it qualifies the customer. And finally, yes. okay, mm -hmm. you want to include, all right, include it in your flat rate task. Okay. Okay. What do I mean by that? Okay. We're doing flat rate pricing. We're going to get flat mm -hmm. rate pricing. We want to, even though we're going to do that 49, you know, like we say, we do the 49, we have a $49 dollar diagnostic fee. However, we waive it if we do any work whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're going to show that. Okay. You're going to show. Yes. I was going to okay, bring that up for sure. All right. Mm -hmm. that, that we waived it. So the customer sees you waived it. On the invoice. You want to show it. However, the reason you're doing, there's still time. Okay. Time is money, right? Time is money. Here's, here's a, a thing that we fail to do. We fail to charge for all of our time. 
Okay. So we don't want to just charge a mis- big mistake that we, that we make is we charge just for the time that we're on the job. Right. Okay. Just, just the time we're on the job, but there's other time involved. Okay. And that's where we're losing money. So if you're, you're coming up short, you know, seems like you got more, uh, you know, there's more month at the end of the money. Right. All right. <laughs> kind, kind of a thing. That's because you're not charging for all your time. Mm-hmm. All right. So we want to charge for, for that time. So you're going to charge for that, that, that travel diagnostic time. So you're going to include, um, you know, maybe a half hour. That's what you know we did it include a half hour of, of time. All right. In your flat rate price. In every single test. Right. So if you're, you know, if you're $300 an hour, that's your hourly rate. Okay. You're going to charge another $150 on every call. Right. But that's included included in the flat rate price. You're not showing that on your invoice. No, no, no. It's in the flat rate price. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, Yeah. And again, you definitely want to make sure that you show back to the the evaluation or the diagnostic fee that you waived the $49. So you want to have a line item on your invoice. It says waived diagnostic charge value of whatever it is, $49. And then over in the unit price, it is zero because Mrs. Jones wants to see that she got something for free. Right. And then that provides the value of the diagnostic. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's the value, which equates to you having value. Right. Okay. So yeah, definitely. All right. right. Show that. Mm -hmm. But then you're going to add the time. So yeah, that's, that's a big area where where most are losing money. Okay. Just not charging for all all the time. So how that, how that may look, you know, in in a practical manner, you know, it's like, like on a flapper, it's an easy job. Okay. So let's say we are charging $300 an hour. And so that flapper, I'm going to charge at least, you know, 15 minutes to do a flapper, right? At least 15, even though you can do it in five minutes. Okay. I never go any less than a 15 minute increment. Okay. So we're there at, you know, 15 minutes plus another half hour mm-hmm. that we want to include for the travel and some diagnostic time, the time that, that time so we lost. To the customer. And right. So that's mm-hmm. three quarters of an hour. So here you can see where a flapper, you know, we're at 300 bucks an hour, mm-hmm. three quarters of that's like 250 bucks. Mm-hmm. Right. We're going to, we're already like, we're like at $250 to charge a flap mm-hmm. for a flapper. Yeah. That's what, it, that's what I mean. It, that's right. what it costs. So mm-hmm. if you're not charging, charging like that, that's where you're losing. Okay. That's why on these, on these repair jobs and all that, that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. you're losing is, your butt. You're losing your, right. Mm-hmm. Cause you're, you're not charging for all your time. Right. Okay. And we, and we, I know you're going to talk about this yeah. in a little bit, but in the success Academy, we go over all of these things of, of really how to determine how many hours you actually have in the day. Right. Right. Be surprised. It's not what you think, right? right? Um, and then how to make sure that you're charging for all of those hours, right? So you know that that's a that's a key thing there. Charging for all your time. That that's a that's a a, a big reason why you know a, if you're if you're again if you're experienced there, there's more month at the end of the money. It's because you're not charging for all your time. And that's what all businesses have to do. They have to right. charge regardless of what the business is, right? They have to charge for their time, right? Okay. Because time is? Time is money. All right. So mm-hmm. there we go. Hey, you want to, you know, simple mm-hmm. thing you can do, you know, right now to make more money with your plumbing business a day, charge a diagnostic fee. Mm-hmm. All right. It claims you have value, right? Or, just, you know, the customer's going to see that you have value, right? Qualifies the customer. You're going to get the customers that really, that, that your plumbing business really wants. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep you from the driving around. Mrs. Jones. Exactly. The right okay. Customer. Stop. No more dead men driving. Okay. <laughs> and then finally, you're going to include, include that in your flat rate. Right. Okay. Along with the materials, along with, with all the things that need to go into every single task. Right on, right on, right on. Okay. okay. And you'll make more money, more money, more money. Okay. <laughs> Which is, it's okay. That's the name of the game. It was, right. oh, I, I don't want to, that's always feeling I don't want to make, make more money, more money. <laughs> You don't want to make more money. Don't be in business. Right. Your business is supposed to make money. Right. Okay. It's supposed to make a profit. Okay. And it's supposed to make a profit for the owner. I'm serving my community. I'm I'm serving, you know, and and taking care of people. Well, you can't take care of people without money. Right. Okay. And you certainly can't take care of your family. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it is your responsibility to make, make money. All right. And that's a simple thing you can do. Make more money with your plumbing business. Plus the last two episodes. And we got two more after this one. All right. So, All right. Two more. They'll, they'll be coming. I know. You're waiting on the edge of your seat. Okay. <laughs> and they're cool. Things. I mean, again, there's simple things you can do right now. They tend to overlook. Right. Mm-hmm. That, that, that we overlook. Okay. Okay. So there we go. All right. Hey, you mentioned it. All right. Yeah. 
the Million Dollar Plumber Success Academy. All right, in it. All right, we teach the business of plumbing. Okay, you, you're a great plumber. You you know plumbing. Okay, but you didn't learn plumbing overnight. You didn't learn plumbing in 30 days. Okay, and you didn't become a master plumber. You know, in 60 days. All right. The same thing goes with business and it's twice as hard. Okay. And your business, and I know it's a plumbing business, but it ain't about plumbing. Okay. You got to know the business. It is not about right? plumbing. And in the Success Academy, we teach the business of plumbing, mm-hmm. you know, how to figure out here, you know, what you should be charging, mm-hmm. how to create, you know, flat rate pricing, very key. Mm-hmm. This buying, buying flat rate pricing off the shelf and all that, that, you know, that just leaves you in a, in a very weak position. Mm-hmm. Plus it doesn't add any value to your business. When you go to sell your business, there's right. no value there. When you no create value. your own pricing, mm-hmm. all right, that, that increases the value of your plumbing business. Correct. All right. So, you know, we, we teach how to do that. You know, of course, all the, the correct marketing. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, how to answer the phone. Right. When to hire. How, how to, to hire, hire. How to fire. How to train. Yes. You know, all, every, everything in there. How to brand. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's the right kind of branding to get you noticed, to stand out in the crowd, Mm -hmm. to make you look like you can be one truck. We see it all the time with our clients, one truck. And people say, I see your trucks everywhere. Like you're the largest plumbing company. You've been around forever because you're branded correctly. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and there is a skill to that. Okay. But anyway, we we teach all that in in the success Academy. We do. All right. And you can check it out now for 14 days Mm -hmm. free. All right. It is a free trial. Mm -hmm. All right. Simply go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash success and grab your free trial. Okay. So there we go. Sounds All right. Good. good stuff. Hey, you're mm-hmm. looking to make more money with your plumbing business today? Do these things. All right. Mm-hmm. Charge a diagnostic fee. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. It is that simple. Mm-hmm. Hey, before I let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. Mm-hmm. So plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.